100% love from the boss audio web nov chapter 11 runaway then you'll go to hell in the early morning the ward was quiet a few glares were shining through the window with everything in this room shrouded in the tender and soft morning light jia shaolo turned over and opened her eyes suddenly finding an enlarged face in front of her she was just startled woke up ning tianyi naturally touched her forehead in an indifferent way and said in not burning up yet the drip was helpful what what happened to me jia shaolo felt her throat was dry and painful while trying to speak any words you got a fever up to 39 degrees celsius It's me who sent you to the hospital. Raising his eyebrows, Ling Tianyi showed a pondering smile, waiting for Chia Shaolo's grateful words. Thanks to her dry throat, however, Chia Shaolo was unable to speak out any word, let alone speak to the bad guy who had bullied her. One minute passed by silently, but Ling Tianyi did not hear any word of gratitude that he wanted. So, full of displeasure in his heart, there was growing coldness on his sharp angle face as well as in his deep eyes. Hey, you bad girl, it is me who rescued you from the disgusting landlord yesterday. It's also me who sent you to the hospital and gave you the best treatment. What's more, it's me again who accompanied and took care of you for a whole night. Now your temperature has come down and your mind has been cleared up. Don't you have anything to say? Pinching Zia's chin, Ling Tianyi was so angry as if he would eat her. No, I have nothing to say to you. You are a real plague. Off with you, Chia Shaolo said. However, Ling Tianyi increased his strength on Chia Shaolo's chin, leading to a wrong impression that her chin might be crushed by him. At the same time, the plague god was leaning closer and closer to her, saying, I have saved you out of my kindness. But, you repaid me even with no thank you words at all. Let alone pledge to marry me. Instead, how dare you call me, the plague? Do you have any conscience? Off with you, you plague, you bastard, scolded Chia Shaolo. Cursing me. It must be owed to the dullness of your lips. Throwing Chia Shaolo under his body on the sickbed, Ling Tianyi gave a heavy kiss to her to stop her words. Feeling weak all over, Chia Shaolo could not let the overbearing man, who was kissing her, off her body. While she was extremely helpless, Ling Tianyi's cell phone rang. What's up? Ling Tianyi asked without any patience. President Ling, I am so sorry to bother you. Last Friday, you made an appointment with the deputy mayor to discuss about the land in the West District. The time is 10 o'clock this morning and it is arranged at the Jinkiao Business Center. The call was made by Luna. Her boss who had been never ever late for work did not appear when it was already 9.30 morning. Therefore, what she could do was only to make a call. Got it. You should make the arrangement in the first place. Be careful and don't neglect those coming from the government. I will arrive on time. Ling Tianyi hung up his smartphone. Little woman, listen, stay here and wait for me to come back to deal with you. Or, I warn you, if you dare to run away, you will die. Finishing these, Ling Tianyi took a bite of the little woman on her nose. Keep that in mind. Ling Tian pinched her fair and tender cheeks of Chia Shaolo and then left as if nothing had happened. However, Ling Tianyi could never expect that his warning was directly ignored by Chia Shaolo. Within one minute after Ling Tianyi left the hospital, the pretty head nurse came in and inquired after her well-being, trying to please her. Chia Shaolo ate a little rice porridge sent by the head nurse. With some power again, she planned to leave, for she had to work to earn money. Otherwise, she would soon be a homeless beggar. Miss Chia, you can't leave now. The head nurse prevented her. I've already recovered from illness. I can go. Wearing in patient's hospital gown, Chia Shaolo walked to the door for herself. Miss Chia, you'd better take another rest for a while. Though your temperature just comes down, your body is still weak. The head nurse hurriedly stood at the door. But I really have something to do. Why are you going to stop me? Chia Shaolo was speechless, suspecting that why there was a restriction for the sick to leave the hospital. 100% love from the boss audio web novel chapter 12 crossing over at a height of 12 flaws is amazing. Chia Shaolo insisted on leaving while the head nurse pleaded, saying that, Miss Chia, Mr. Ling had told us to make you have a good rest here. I am responsible for taking care of you. If I let you leave without official permission, I will then be fired. I have been working here for seven years to be selected as the head nurse, so I can't lose this job. I beg you, please. There was a pitiful look on the head nurse's face begging for mercy in her eyes. Chia Shaolo was fired by Yin Meng Western Style Restaurant, so she could understand the head nurse's situation. As the saying goes, do not impose on others what you yourself do not desire. Chia Shaolo curled her lips and sat down on the sofa, for she was never a cruel person. Then the head nurse quickly turned on the TV and handed the remote control onto Chia Shaolo's hand, saying that, Miss Chia, how about watching TV? And what would you like to drink? I'll get it ready for you. I am not thirsty. When can I leave? Chia Shaolo really did not want to see Ling Tianyi, the plague. What's more, she was so scared to stay together with him, for he was such a devil old goat. I have no idea of that, for it depends on President Ling, who is the top one shareholder of this hospital, owning the largest share of stocks. Even our director has to obey his order. Talking about Ling Tianyi, the head nurse did nothing to conceal her longing for him, thoroughly reflecting her as a woman who was easily infatuating with an attractive man leaning to the back of the sofa indolently, Chia Shaolo did not want to bring her into trouble. However, she did not plan to wait for Ling Tianyi coming back right here, neither. Racking her mind, Chia Shaolo finally had a perfect escaping plan after she went to the restroom. MS head nurse, it is too dull in the ward. How about going for a walk outside, see, how sunny the day is outside. Finishing her lunch, Chia Shaolo was more energetic as if she were not ill. Looking out of the window, the head nurse wondered why she wanted to go for a walk outside, for it was very hot in such a midsummer afternoon. She then looked at Chia Shaolo with some suspicion. However, at the thought of that this girl was taken here by President Ling, she must be a VIP patient who was even accompanied by President Ling for a whole night. She must not offend her. After considering for a while, the head nurse finally agreed. Following the head nurse downstairs to the garden in the hospital, Chia Shaolo was making a mental note of the locations of the elevator, the stairs, the exit, and the closest path to the hospital gate. The head nurse took a very good care of Chia Shaolo along the way, fearing that she may run away. 
However, after wandering around the hospital, Chia Shaolo returned to the ward right way, which relaxed the head nurse's nervousness. Ouch! My stomach, it hurts. In no more than three minutes, Sio Shaolo started to roll on the sofa and shouted. The head nurse quickly pressed the beeper. Soon later, doctors and nurses working in VIP wards of the 12th story all appeared in this VIP ward. Miss Chia, which part of you feel not uncomfortable, asked the physician in charge who treated Chia Shaolo last night. The stomach hurts. It hurts so much. I don't know if it is cholecystitis, or appendicitis, or some stones. Chia Shaolo put on a painful look. Put her in the emergency room. The physician in charge dared not to snub such a VIP patient sent by the top one shareholder of the hospital. No, no, no. I, I may be sick because of some food. I will take the toilet. Soon I will be back, so wait for me here. All wait for me here. Rushing into the restroom, Chia Shaolo quickly opened the window. She had a very accurate escape route in her mind after wandering around the hospital just now. Chia Shaolo found that the toilets of the two VIP wards were just next to each other. Then, not taking the height as high as the twelfth floor in mind, she opened the window and quickly crossed into the next ward where there was nobody else. Such a VIP ward was too expensive to be afforded by common people. Wow, super exciting, Chia Shaolo said to herself. She was so fond of adventures so that she was very satisfied with this chance of crossing over at the twelfth floor. Taking the opportunity when all the medical staff staying in her VIP ward, Chia Shaolo made use of the time difference and succeeded to escape from St. Mary Hospital by following the route she planned. Slipping out of the hospital under the gaze of all the staff, Chia Shaolo believed that her escape might not bring trouble to the head nurse. The punishment would certainly fail if all the staff members were involved, because Lin wouldn't know who is to blame. 100% love from the boss audio web novel, Chapter 13 Hesley Grand Hotel wearing in the hospital gown of St. Mary Private Hospital, Chia Shaolo walked on a less bustling street, but the rate of second glance was still very high. She really wanted to go back to her rented room for clothing change. But at the thought of the libidinous landlord, she gave it up. Idling on the street, Chia Shaolo had no other way than to ask for help from Dao Ya, her best friend. However, she knew that Dao Ya was also in trouble, for she lived with her uncle and her aunt from childhood. Dao Ya's father passed away when she was a little girl and then her mother left her and remarried. Besides, Dao Ya's uncle and aunt disliked her, regarding her as a burden. Yesterday in the Western-style restaurant, Dao Ya offended the manager in order to prevent him from firing her. Consequently, both of them were fired. Having a terribly guilty conscience to Dao Ya, Chia Shaolo did not have the courage to disturb her again. Job advertisement. Glancing at the advertising board in the front of the gate of Hasli Grand Hotel, Chia Shaolo went over to have a close check of the advertisement immediately. Over 18 years old, female, of 160 centimeters or more. Chia Shaolo seems to see hope again. Despite a five-star hotel, the requirements seemed not to be very strict. According to these, she guessed that she would meet these admission requirements. Chia Shaolo then got the spirits right away. Regardless of her hospital gown, she walked openly into the hall of the hotel, speaking to the receptionist at the front desk, Hello, I came here to apply for the position as a waitress, for I noticed there was a job advertisement. The receptionist looked down upon Chia Shaolo in the hospital gown, but, as a professional receptionist of a five-star hotel, she still smiled to her, saying to her in a tender voice, Please fill in the form and go upstairs to the second floor, where you'll find the interview section. Please hand in the form to the guide and then just wait for your turn. Thank you, said Chia Shaolo. Taking the paper and the pen, she finished the form soon. After that, she rushed hurriedly to the second floor and submitted the form to the guide. Having a glance at the crowd applying for the position, Chia Shaolo concluded that there could be more than 30 applicants. But, to her surprise, she found a familiar face and shouted, Bibad Bean Sprout the nickname of Dao Ya. The name has the same pronunciation with the phrase, Bean Sprout. Why are you here, Shaolo? Dao Ya dressed in a preppy suit. Compared with what Chia Shaolo wore, Dao Ya looked like more professional. Why are you in such a hospital gown? Are you ill? asked Dao Ya, lifting her hand on Zia's forehead to test her temperature. Chia Shaolo moved Du's hand and said, I just had a fever, but I am all right now. I was hurried to leave the hospital, so I forgot to take off the gown. As long as you are okay. At noon today, my neighbor told me that this hotel would be officially open next week. Thanks to it, it needs a lot of attendance. I wanted to call you to come here together with me and have a try, but your phone has been off. I didn't expect to meet with you here, complained Dao Ya, for she had been kept calling Chia Shaolo for nearly an hour. I had no money to pay the rent, therefore, I mortgaged my smartphone to the landlord last week. Even just now when I was filling in the application form, I used your phone number. Chia Shaolo sighed. Poor girl. Hope both of us can succeed, said Dao Ya, patting Chia Shaolo on her shoulder. But, the gown is not suitable for the interview. Anyway, we have about the same size. After I finish my interview, you may put on my suit. You lovely bean sprout. I love you so much, said Chia Shaolo, giving Dao Ya a beer hug. Off with me. Don't get my suit creased. It will soon be my turn, said Dao Ya, giving a slight push to Chia Shaolo. Both of them sat down on the bench, waiting, 100% love from the boss audio web novel, chapter 14 The prototype of homes in the VIP ward of St. Mary's Private Hospital, an important patient was lost. The entire hospital went crazy at this, and almost half of the medical staff were on the street looking for Chia Shaolo, a patient who was sent by the major shareholder. Ling Tiani and the deputy mayor had had lunch and chatted for a while, reaching an agreement of intention. He originally wanted to invite the deputy mayor to play golf but he received a call from the director of the hospital. Ling Tiani's heart was going to burst, for he never thought that the little woman was so bold that she didn't take his words seriously. He must immediately catch the disobedient shit and teach her a lesson. He arranged the company's vice president Zhao Kai and his trusted assistant Chu Wei to accompany the deputy mayor and his party. After a few words, Ling Tiani left Jinkia Business Center. Then he came to the hospital and replayed all the surveillance videos. Seeing the way she left the ward, he couldn't help but breaking into a cold sweat and clenching his fist, you don't want to live, petite devil. 
Dare to cross over the window of the twelfth floor, you do have the guts. Noticing Ling's face was getting more and more surly, the director also got more nervous, President Ling, I'm so sorry. Something bad happened. We should take the responsibility. But we've sent many people to look for Miss Chia. I believe she will be found soon. You're good for nothing. Ling Tiani did not expect these doctors to provide any help, and it's useless for him to stay in the hospital, the little woman will never come back on her own. He drove his luxury car searching back and forth in a few streets nearby, but there were no findings. Ling Tiani parked the car at the gate of Hasli Hotel. In the elevator, while pressing the button for the 29th floor, he dialed a number. A lazy voice came from the phone, Oh my master Ling, why don't you let me take a nap? Take a damn nap. Listen, find a person for me at once. I'll send her information to you in less than five minutes. With a serious voice, Ling Tiani would not accept any disagreement. Hey, you're a cold fish. Don't you know there's a famous saying, no noon nap, no afternoon. The lazy voice was from Ling Tiani's childhood friend Yao Sheng, who was kicked out of a police academy. Then, he opened a detective agency, but he never sticked to the business, for his family was somewhat rich. I'll give up my rest time to find the person for you, but how much reward can I get? It doesn't matter if you don't pay me. Just give me your, lightning. I really like that BMW and always think about it. Ling Tiani simply ignored Yo's nagging, no more bullshit. Find the person for me first. Or, you're dead. Please. You're the big president making money fast every day. You can't squeeze me. I'm just a poor man, opened a small detective agency. Business is business. If there is no benefit, even a fool will not work for you. Er, uh, hey, lightning is actually my destiny. I fell in love with it at first sight. Yao Sheng implored shamelessly just for getting, lightning. Ling Tiani has already stepped out of the elevator at that time. He took out Chia Shaolo's employee register form that he got at Yanmeng Western Style Restaurant last night and handed it to the secretary, scanned this sheet and sent it to me. I need to forward it immediately. Ahoy, I haven't decided to help you find the person. Don't send me the mail. I don't do business for losing money. Hearing what Ling Tiani told his secretary, Yao Sheng went mad. No buts. Well, okay, lightning is yours. But if you can't find the person. Before he finished his words, Yao Sheng interrupted him, no ifs. I'm the prototype of Holmes. All you need to do is enjoying your coffee and waiting for my good news.